Hello, today's game is a remarkable one features a variety of attacking motifs and uh, this game shows how tactics arise in chess and how better they can be exploited. So let's have a look at the, uh, the game played in Vijay Kanzi tournament in the year 1999 where the former world champions met. It is Kaspro had the white pieces and Whistling Toplov is playing with the black pieces. So playing white, uh, Kaspro opens with the e4 and uh, d6 replies uh, Toplov. We are now having a pilk defense game on the board and d4 knight to f6 knight to c3 g6 bishop to e3 and bishop to g7 queen to d2 and c6 f3 and b5 knight g to e2 and knight b to d7 so now both the players are working out on these strategies with white's actions are aimed at center and the king side and uh, black is planning to operate on the queen side. So now Casper goes for bishop to h6. Uh, with this move white intends to stop black from castling. If black castles then white can launch an attack on the king side combining uh, the g and h file pawns. So here Toplo decides to take the bishop on h6, bishop into h6, queen into h6 and now bishop to b7. So black is now preparing to castle on the queen side and uh, secure the king. So here e3. This is a restricting move and these kind of moves are generally known as prophylaxis and here in this game it is played to either delay or discourage uh, black from activating the b4 uh, the b pawn so e5 replies top low and black is trying to ease the tension in the middle uh, before castling so here casper uh, goes for queen side castling and then queen to e7 top low is also preparing for castling so king to b1 this move is often played in queen side castling games to secure the king uh, this is to ward off any future threats uh, from the c file so now a6 and knight to c1 so now top low uh, decides to castle on the queen side and now knight to b3 here white is preparing to play uh, knight to a5 and pose a threat. So we now have a into a d4. This move releases uh, the central tension. As for white, uh, the queen on h6 is misplaced and uh, the bishop on f1 is still not developed. So uh, Kaspero decides to take the d4 pawn with the uh, rook rook into d4 and c5 attacking the rook so rook goes back to d1 and uh, knight to b6 and g3 this move will help uh, bring the bishop on f1 into the game with options like uh, h3 so now top lob plays uh, king to b8 here black has played a prophylactic move to secure the king and eventually a d5 advancement is on the cards so here Casper ultimately plays a knight to a5 here white has placed his knight on the perfect square with no pawns to attack uh, here Toplo does not want to uh, trade uh, the bishop so he moves to a8 black needs to protect this bishop so as to support uh, a d5 a breakthrough so now bishop to h3 ultimately Kaspro plays bishop to h3 and d5 as expected and king to f4 check at last bringing the inactive queen on h6 into the game with a check so king goes to a7 rook h into e1 
and d4 so now knight to d5 knight b into d5 so here instead of uh, knight b into d5 if uh, black plays uh, bishop into d5 then e takes uh, d5 queen to d6 and rook to e7 check and if uh, queen into e7 then knight c6 is winning the queen so after knight b into d5 castro takes a into d5 and a queen to d6 and we now have a rook into d4 it's a wonderful move and c into d4 and a rook to e7 check here queen into d4 is uh, not good as uh, black would play uh, queen to b6 and uh, come out ahead so after e7 check uh, Tobler plays uh, king to b6 attacking the knight on a5 so now ultimately he plays queen into d4 check sacrificing a knight to launch a strong attack so now Tobler goes for king into a5 now b4 check and king to a4 now queen to c3 this is a winning move here for white so toplo decides to take the d5 pawn queen into d5 and a rook to a7 now bishop to b7 attack uh, supporting the pawn on a6 now rook takes the b7 pawn rook into b7 and if black plays uh, queen into uh, b7 then king to b3 is checkmate so after rook into b7 toplo plays queen to c4 now uh, queen takes the f6 knight the unprotected f6 knight and now king into a3 now queen a uh, queen into a6 check and uh, king into b4 now c3 check it's a wonderful move so king takes c3 and queen to a1 check and king to d2 queen to b2 check and king to d1 and now bishop to f1 this is a tactical move here if uh, black goes for queen to queen into f1 then queen to c2 is a strong attack white can later uh, go on to win the game easily so after bishop to f1 uh, toplo plays uh, rook to d2 attacking uh, the queen on b2 now rook to d7 here also we can see a wonderful move here toplo cannot uh, take the queen on b2 queen into b2 because of the check so after rook to d7 uh, toplo takes the rook on d7 rook into d7 and bishop into c4 here caspro wins the queen and b into c4 and queen into h8 winning the rook and now rook to d3 and queen to a and c3 toplo trying hard by promoting his uh, pawn his pass pawn but that won't help toplo win the game or at least uh, make it a draw so let's have a look queen to a4 check and king to e1 and f4 and f5 king to c1 and rook to d2 attacking uh, the pawn on h2 so now queen to a7 attacking uh, the pawn on h7 so it was in this position toplo resigned the game here you saw wonderful uh, tactics in this game so there is so much to learn from this game so hope you all enjoyed so see you next time